you pledged repeatedly for party unity headed into the fall. Uh, a lot of Republican senators and House members say by your decision to withhold your endorsement of Donald Trump actually makes it harder for the party to unite. Are you concerned that by not endorsing Trump, the party's going to have a difficult time? No, I think actually... Um what we're trying to do is be as constructive as possible to have a real unification. Look, I said this the other day, um, to pretend we're unified as a party after coming through a very bruising primary, which just ended like a week ago, um, to pretend we're unified without actually unifying, then we go into the fall at half strength. This election is too important to go into an election at half strength. That means we need a real unification of our party, which, you know, look, after a tough primary, that's going to take some effort. We are committed to putting that effort in. I want to be a part of that unifying process so that we're at full strength this fall so that we can win this election. We cannot afford to lose this election to Hillary Clinton, to pack the Supreme Court, to keep the liberal Obama, uh, Obama agenda going. We have to be at full strength so that we can win this election, and that is why we have to go through the actual effort and process of unifying. Mr. Speaker. Hallie from NBC, by the way. Um, you've been very vocal in your differences on policy with Donald Trump. So what is it that you need to hear from him at some point to fully endorse him? And is there a situation in which you have? Look, I, I think these are conversations we're going to have. I don't really know him. Uh, I met him once in person in 2012. We had a very good conversation in March on the phone. Um, we just need to get to know each other. And we, as a leadership team, um, are enjoying the fact that we have a chance to meet with him. So I'd rather have a conversation in person than through the media, no, no, no offense. This is a big tent party. There is plenty of room for different policy disputes in this party. We come from different wings of the party. The goal here is to unify the various wings of the party around common principles so that we can go forward unified. Wong. Uh, you spoke with Ben Carson, the top Trump supporter last night. What was Mr. Carson's message to you ahead of this meeting with Donald Trump? First of all, Ben Carson's a great guy. And Ben Carson is just trying to provide a constructive role to help. He wants to be a force to help uh, all the various wings of the Republican Party and the conservative movement to come together, and he's trying to play that constructive role. Look, we've, we've got a process we're just getting started. So the last thing I'm going to do is say exactly what the end of this process is going to be when we're just beginning this process. The point I'll just make one more time <laughs> is I really believe that if we're going to be successful this fall, we have to unify our party. We have to go forward with a positive message that Americans see that we have solutions to their problems. When seven out of ten Americans don't like the path that this country is on, and Hillary Clinton is basically promising to keep going down the same path, we have an obligation to merge and to unify around our common principles to offer this country a choice, a better way forward, and that's going to take some party unification to do that. We just finished probably one of the most grueling primaries in, 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 in modern history. It's going to take some work, and that's the kind of work we're dedicated to doing. Mr. Speaker, do you think Mr. Trump should